All right, welcome once again to Pennsylvania. And you should recognize that fellow there. I'm out here with John again. We're gonna do another one of our uh, Searching for History series, I'm gonna call them. We did Pottsville like two weeks ago. And by choice of John, we're in, uh, we're in Jim Thorpe today. Carbon, Carbon County, I think, right? Carbon, Carbon, County. Carbon County, Jim Thorpe. We might go somewhere else today too, we'll see if we have time. But uh, me and John have both been here several times before, but this is a neat little town. So as always, well, as we did this once before already, but we're gonna just drive around the town, check out some of the historical stuff, some interesting stuff that is to see here. And like we did in Pottsville, we'll have the dash cam on the Jeep and we'll, sh we'll you'll get to drive around with us a little bit. So we're starting this video on the east end of Jim Thorpe, where the Jim Thorpe uh, monument is. Of course, Jim Thorpe was a Native American athlete. I think he, he competed in the Olympics, I think the 1910 Olympics. They have his tomb here. And the town is named after him, even though he's not from Pennsylvania. But we'll talk about that in a moment. And they do a few statues of him here. There's some controversy about him being buried here. Well, 1912 Olympics. Sir, you are the greatest athlete in the world. King Gustav of Stockholm, Sweden. 1912 Olympics. They do have some statues of him here. They do give some information about him here. Born in 1887. Of course, you can pause the video and read all of that if you want. Looks like he died in 1953. Here's his other statue. Here they got his... Uh, the 1912 Olympics, some of the things he competed in. Different events. So you can go ahead and read that. Has all his, uh, where he placed, third place, second place, fourth place, and so on. Let's say Thorpe finished the decathlon with an incredible 8,000 some points out of a possible 10,000. His nearest competitor had 7,000 some. And they have some more uh, information boards from here. You can see what he looked like. Looks like a pretty buff dude there. Oh, that's right. He was. Uh, he went to the. He went to the uh, Indian school in Carlisle. Forgot about that. We need to. I actually want to make a video of that place someday. I do want to mention too that there is some controversy about Jim Thorpe being buried here. That is his tomb right over here. He's obviously not from this area. This town used to be called Mock Chunk. I'll try to put the name of it down there. And they renamed it Jim Thorpe in 1954 in his honor. He, is, he was born in Oklahoma and uh, Oklahoma wants him back. But you can, you can read up that on that on your own. I think they, his widow tried to originally have him buried in Oklahoma but something went wrong with that and she was looking for a place to bury him and she made an agreement with Jim Thorpe, the town here in Mock Chunk and uh, this is where he's buried so they renamed the town after him. But there is a, I think the case went to the Supreme Court as well to have him moved back to Oklahoma but that didn't happen. But like I said, there's a ton of information about that online if you want to learn more about that but he's still here though. So we're going to head back in the Jeep. Uh, we're actually going to go to the tunnel. There's a tunnel. Uh, the Lehigh Gorge State Park is just here. And there's a cool tunnel called the Turnhole Tunnel. But uh, on the way there, we might stop at a few other places. There's some cool old churches here in town as well. But like I said, some of these videos are kind of, sometimes it's just kind of random what we stop and see as well. But eventually we're going to make our way to that tunnel and then some other places on the other side of town as well. All right, so we are on the east end of town. We're leaving where the statue was. You can see there is still some fall color out here. Those churches are right up here, weren't they? Yeah, there's one on, you can see the steeple of the lawn. Oh yeah, 
guys see it. Yeah, because there's one on the right and there's one on the left. I don't know if it's something special, but it's one of the things that is said on Google that were some of the special things. There's a cool view looking all the way across town there, up the hill here, or down the hill. I guess you can see the one church, the steeple right there. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, so we did make a stop on our way to the tunnel, but you can see the uh, old church steeple back there. But we saw this building here, St. Joseph's Parochial School. That's a cool looking building there. There's John's walking off. They have some plaques here. I don't know if it's a school anymore, but uh, St. Joseph's School and Regional Academy. 1874. Yeah, some restoration has been done to it. All right, we're gonna try and get a closer look at this church as well. John, John loves the old architecture of these churches. This is that old church over on the other side of the street as well. And we're catching up to him. Yeah, you can see beautiful old building. Eighteen, what did I say? Eighteen seventy-one. Saint Joseph's Church. Eighteen seventy-one. List of all the pastors. Oh, some time. I wouldn't mind coming to Mass just to see it. Just to see what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And yeah, here's a better view of it from a little bit further away through the electrical wires. Beautiful churches. Like I said, John just loves these old buildings. I like them too. There's a view of the other church we saw. I think it's St. John's Lutheran Church. Beautiful old tower. I just noticed that there's no glass up there, but then the John mentioned is probably on purpose because there is a bell up there, which I'm sure they use. Probably just break the glass. But uh, that's a quite a different look from the the Catholic Church across the street. Just gonna quick check if there's a uh, a date for this church as well. All right, so John did find a date for this one over here on the stone. A little bit newer than we thought. This one is 1924. So here's another view of the Lutheran Church. And of course, just down the street was the Catholic Church. All right, so you can tell us which one you like better. John, John likes the Lutheran church here better. I kind of like that one too, kind of kind of like the look. But the Catholic church is cool too. The Catholic church is just big. It's big. It's got that gothic. Where's John? There he is. He's <laughs> got that gothic look to it. Yeah, but this Lutheran church, I kind of like, I like the bell tower a lot better, I think. But anyway, you can let us know what you think down in the comments. And this is not a Lutheran versus Catholic and battle. And there is a competing hunchback in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I hope he, there's not. He I didn't don't... ring his bell yet. I don't want to see a hunchback. <laughs> oh, some guy. Anyway. Destroy this <laughs> yeah. Someone hit the curb up here. But I think we're going to we're gonna go ahead and drive. I think head down to where the tunnel is next. In the state park. And there is a bridge. The rail trail that goes across the the river, the Lehigh River, we might check that out too. I just want to see what the colors, the fall colors look like there. And we're not we're not even in the old part of town yet, where a lot more cooler stuff is. So 
We'll get away from this noisy street. All right, so we're gonna head. We're gonna get back to the main street here in town and head down to the Lehigh Gorge. It's starting to rain just a little bit, but it's been doing that all day. Me and John have been to this tunnel before, but I just want to share this video because if you come to Jim Thorpe, it's a cool, it's an easy place to get to. Just gonna head down into the Lehigh Gorge State Park here. Make another left down this way. Just follow the signs for the state park. It's kind of a neat day though. Mm -hmm. With all the fog well, and the colors. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like when we went to uh, Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. Oh yeah, with the fog. Yeah, was, yeah that was that yeah. was just awesome. You gotta drive up a little ways to get to the parking areas. I'm turn it off for a bit. So you'll see a number of parking areas on your right. You want to go to the last one that's up here, if I remember correctly. The tunnel is literally right, right next to it. I think there's like three of them. Because here's the second one. I think there's a. Is that the tunnel right now? That's the next one. Next, so I think it is the third one. So it should be. Yeah. Is it? You see it up there? I think. We'll find out in a moment here. Yeah, I think I see something up there. Yeah, yeah this is the yep. one. So it's the, it's the third parking lot on the right, and it's it's literally right in front of us. There, you can see it. The hole. Right up there. <laughs> Yeah, so this is called the, the Turnhole Tunnel. And you might wonder why it's here, because the, the Lehigh River is right down there, and they had to, anyway, it, it got kind of congested at one point, and they had to find a way through the hill here. And if my notes are correct, this was built in 1866, and it was abandoned in 1910. And what's cool about this is the other end, which you'll see in a moment. I did bring my flashlight along. <laughs> Approach the depths. And you can see the other end of it there. All right, and away we go. I'm not sure, I guess it is working all right, I guess. Should have I didn't bring my bigger camera lights along this time. But this will work. And there were two there were two tracks in here. You can still see the railroad ties. Yeah, sorry, it's a little dark. 
but uh, it'll work. There are some bigger rocks falling from the ceiling. Even over here. We'll have John stand here for a while. Is John in here? Yeah. Where is John? Oh yeah, see, you can see the scale of the tunnel. You can see how big John is. And he's John's, what, you're six foot, right? Six foot two. Yeah, so it's a decent size opening. Yeah, I should have brought my other lights, but and we're approaching the other end. <laughs> hey, uh oh, someone doesn't. Yeah, someone doesn't like us. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You get the view of the... So down there is the Lehigh River. You see the old piers. Where the train would have gone. I think we'll probably take a drive over there because you can see this tunnel opening from over there. It's pretty cool. Beautiful out there. So this is a pretty cool tunnel to check out. And it's, it's fairly safe and easy to get to if you want a quick uh, train tunnel to explore. There's John back there, but like I said, I think we're gonna go, we're just gonna quick drive. There's a bridge out here so you can see this tunnel from the other end. There's one of those dynamite holes. Oh, one of the drill holes? Yeah. Let me sh let's get a picture of that, or well, the video. <laughs> yes, yeah, as John was talking about, one of the old, uh, you know, the holes they would drill. Put some powder in there and <laughs> blow the rock apart to make this tunnel. And on the other side of the tunnel I found this uh, chunk of metal sticking out. So I'm not sure what that was for. Anyway, we're gonna head on back through the tunnel and like I said give you another view of it. Alright so we're headed across the bridge that goes across the Lehigh River. To our right it's actually where the tunnel comes out but we won't be able to see it just yet. But I want to just show you all the color here. Yeah, John can look over and see it. I think I might try to park right up here quick and show you a view of it. Yeah, because can, we can just park right here. It's not handicapped, is it? It's okay. <laughs> well, John might be handicapped. <laughs> oh, I did say that. <laughs> Only positive thoughts. <laughs> All right, so this is the bridge we just crossed in the Jeep and Naomi. And uh, right up here, we will see the other end of the tunnel that we were, me and John, were looking through at the end there. And you can see it right up there. There's the other entrance. Walk over just a little bit more. Well, maybe not. This is a good view right here. Try and zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, that's where we were standing just earlier. That's pretty cool how it just comes out right on the face of the cliff there. And you can see the old bridge piers down below. It's a pretty awesome sight. Alright, so I think we're going to stop at one other place here in the park. Just a quick stop where the, the rail trail actually goes across the Lehigh River. There's a bridge that you can walk across. And I'm hoping there's some neat fall color along the bridge there that you can see along the river. And then after that we're going to head into the other part of town, the more touristy part of town, where the, where the old Carbon County Jail is. And I think there's a mansion up there, the Asa Packer Mansion, and, and some other things that we're going to check out on that end of town. It's usually the end of town that people visit when they come here to Jim Thorpe. So we'll get there eventually. And here's, a, here's a look actually of some of the cool colors in the park here. There's Naomi. John's still waiting for us in there. Alright, we're gonna get back in and we're gonna go to that, uh, check out that bridge.
let you enjoy the colors for a little bit. And just up ahead here, we're gonna pull over. I think that's the bridge up there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or, oh, that's not the pedestrian bridge, though. No, you can go with pedestrian on the left side. Oh, this is the one, yeah. yeah. What am I thinking? Yeah, so we're gonna to find a place to pull off here. Might as well just do it right here, I guess. That's the road we just came down. Naomi is parked down by the side there, and here is the pedestrian bridge. It is right next to the main, the main railroad line here. But it crosses the river up here. I remember me and John were here, I don't know, was that two or three years ago? But you get quite a view up the river. And I'm hoping there's a lot of colors from the foliage up here. Yeah, so the, the pedestrian bridge is up here, but it does look like they put a new a new bridge in here across the river, which is kind of noticed. I don't remember that being here last time. It looks new. Because there is a another main railroad that comes down through that way. So they kind of just put a new connector, I guess you could say. But the actual pedestrian bridge is up ahead. But you can see the fog and the, and the colors up there above the ugly black, flint, black fence, if I could talk right. Yeah, despite the rain and the fog, it's, it's a really nice day out here. About in the 50s, it's probably, like, it's cooling down around and get a I think John is coming up behind us there strolling on in <laughs> I don't know what that is but <laughs> all right oh yeah and up ahead there's that little red building up there a little historic I don't know if that was a train station or not at one point I don't know if you can see it way up there oh yeah look at all the color Yeah, now that's a view. Check that out. That's beautiful. I mean, this alone is worth coming up here to Jim Thorpe. And I know, back. Now if you go back, up that way, some is, is that abandoned village of, La, I forgot how to say it, La San? I think I did a video once about that. It's kind of difficult to get to. I think I had to hop the fence or something to get out there, but... That's the ugly view through the fence. <laughs> but over here is beautiful. Yeah, and we're gonna see a train. John just... Uh, motion to me. I was like, what? He's like, oh, train. Okay, so that's a cool shot. This is the tourist train. Those are all people cars. Looks like they're stopping. Oh, they're probably stopping so people can take pictures of all the 
the color out there. Yes, that view was awesome with the foliage and a train going by. That might end up being my thumbnail picture. But we're, we are going to head now into what's considered west part of Jim Thorpe, the main touristy part. I think there's the old uh, Carbon County Jail is there, Asa Packer Mansion, and some other things we're going to check out there. It's almost 4 o'clock. Uh, it does get darker these days, but we'll, we'll still have time to explore. So it's still quite a bit more coming from the part of Jim Thorpe that people are more familiar with, I think, when they come here. But hopefully, it's a Monday, oh, this is Monday, October 26th, so hopefully there's not as many people here. If you come here on the weekends in October, it is just packed. But anyway, I'm going to quit yapping and let's, let's get into the other part of town. All right, headed up out of the park. We got to cross the bridge to the other end of town. Drop John off at the, the jail. Now, when your only crime is being handsome. Oh. <laughs> Too handsome. I, I got nothing to say to that. Well, that's because you know it's true. Uh, it's debatable. Mm -hmm. I may not be your type, but hey. Well, yeah. There's somebody out there for me. It's a wild goat woman. Oh, there's a cat. Is that a cat? Yeah, I think it's a cat. It's got like a weird shape. It's not a tail. It's not a tail. Yeah. Very pudgy. Cross the road one too many times. Cat eats very well. Yeah, so here's the bridge. That's a really pretty. Oh, yeah, that way. Oh yeah, that's the train we saw earlier. Come make its way over here. Oh wow, it's just packed. Well, maybe those are all the train people. Hopefully. I think we'll take a ride up here. Yeah, you can go oh, maybe not just yet. Yeah. Well, Oh, yeah, that goes. That's a Silver War Monument there. Oh, there's the, the one uh, Packer. The mansion up there. Yeah. Okay, all these people are taking 209, so. Yeah. yeah. Here's the main touristy part of town that everybody comes to. But there's still quite a few people going on here. Yeah, yeah so this is a really beautiful town. Oh, we have Christmas lights up. It's just really has a character. Yeah, somewhere appears. Oh, there's an old. What is that building up ahead? It's like an old church. Or is that the opera house? This is the opera right house. Right over here is the opera. I think the old jail is up here. Yeah, it's on the right. It is an old church. First Presbyterian church. Wow. I'm guessing this is another. I don't know. There's a ballroom. There's a museum there. Oh, oh yeah. I, well, I think there from... was. Looked like an old school, it said. No parking yet. <laughs> well, there's a spot there, but. Oh, there's the prison up there. You can see the old, yeah. looks like a fortress. Wow, it's still jam-packed in here, though. All right, I'm going to turn you off for a bit. All right, so we did find a parking spot. We are going to go for a bit of a walk. I'm not sure how far. But I, well, I don't think John, we never walked no. in town here, so. 
driven through it several times, but it looked really interesting as you can see driving through. So I'm just gonna go for a walk and show you some of the cool buildings in this town. Like even over there, looks like an old firehouse. Just neat. Like John said, these are this is what uh, small town America used to look like, at least in this area. Again, right ahead is the old Carbon County Jail. This place is known for the, I guess what they call the ghostly handprint. Some of the Molly Maguires were held prisoner here and actually hanged here. I talked about that in our Pottsville video. Because that history is all associated with the coal mining. Molly Maguires were like a secret uh, order of Irishmen trying to protect the interests of the coal miners. But there's a whole <laughs> brutal history to that. But some of them were hung here and the one fella I think, uh, I forget his name offhand. I haven't written bad down back in the Jeep, but he uh, supposedly he left his handprint on his jail cell as cars go by. And it's still there today. They've tried to wash it, paint it, even rebuild the wall, but they say you can still see his handprint in there. But you need, a, you need to take a tour to go in there, though. That's cool. Looks like an old fortress. Looks like the one in Pottsville. Yeah, right there is a historical marker for her. I'll zoom in and let you read that. Pause the video and finish that if you want to. It's a really neat old building there. To the left. Oh yeah, there's, oh yeah. There's like a, almost like some stone stuff. Let me zoom in for you. Stone steps headed up. Look up there, it looks like there's something up there. I wonder if those are, yeah, somewhere up there is some ruins that they call the castle. I wonder if that's what's up there. Yeah. yeah. It almost looks like like up above there. It almost looks like there's like a railing for a road or something. Oh yeah, there is a trail up there actually. Yeah. Like a rail trail, I think. What kinds of like a Halloween direction decorations over here. Christmas and Halloween in the same town. Same time. Yeah, so now we're getting down into the really architecturally neat part of town. And someone doing some construction behind us. It's these cool buildings. Wouldn't mind living there, but then there's this huge building over here. Look at that chimney. There's like plants growing out of it. This almost looks like a school. Yeah. There's probably a sign up here that says what it is. Man, it's a big building. Yeah. That's cool. There's like a stairway leading. Oh, up yeah, back spot. there. Oh, wow. I got it fenced off, though. Yeah, so it is. It was an old school. Let me zoom in for you. 1885. 1885, though. Originally the Mock Chunk Public School. Because remember, Mock Chunk was the original name. Now it's a apartment complex. This is definitely a cool old building. They don't make public schools like this anymore. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, yeah. And over there, look at that. Is that, is that a church over there next to it? Cool. Looks like a church. Cool, cool, cool house oh yeah, this house is like set back in. Yeah. Away from the others. Don't want to get John in the video there. <laughs> yeah. They get, actually, the only house in town that has a front yard. The landscapers are all fighting over who gets the yeah. yard. I guess that's a museum over there. Looks like it used to be a church.
beautiful beautiful homes though This one for sure is a church. First Presbyterian Church of Mok Chunk. Beautiful shot there. I think, turn around, this is the Opera House. 1881. What's this? Oh, it's a congressman used to live here. <laughs> Got some cool hair. Yeah, this is this is where the Christmas lights are now. Well, John found something. Oh, first residence built in Jim Thorpe, 1822. It's probably like the oldest house in Jim Thorpe then. a really awesome place to walk around. John's love it. Like I mentioned earlier, John loves the architecture. He likes to notice all the little gingerbread cuts on the houses, the mold, the molding on the houses and stuff. Stuff like this. They don't make that anymore. Down there's an old looking building with a clock tower on it. Let's see what that is. Oh yeah, back up there. Yeah. I was walking past this one store and I thought that was a, a fake pigeon up there, but it's actually real. Just chilling up there. Yeah, here's that old clock tower. That's the Carlin County uh, courthouse. Courthouse. Okay. We'll probably get a better view from it from the other side of the street in a moment. I think at this point we're gonna cross the road and start heading back up. So here's a view of that clock tower from the other side of the street. Yeah, this storefront has a, actually, I remember I mentioned that handprint in the Carbon County Jail. And that's what it looks like. So if you actually went into Carbon County Jail, took a tour and looked for the handprint, that's what it would look like. It's just cool how this town has retained its, you know, historical, I don't know what you want to call it. So many towns have been modernized so much that they lose their character. 
that old timey character. Yeah, just so many cool houses. John was just pointing that one out, it's like the little side tower on it. That would be my, uh, that would be my room, right up there. <laughs> Yeah, now this house up here has the same thing. It's like a little, little tower thing. We just found John's girlfriend. I don't knock her. How long have you guys been dating? A long time. She don't talk a whole lot though. Yeah, she talks. You like her though? Hey, you know, whatever, uh, whatever, you know, suits you guys, I guess, you know. <laughs> Bye, John's girlfriend. <laughs> so we're back at the Opera House, and we did, we parked up that way a little bit. We're going to take a little detour. John wants to take, a, this is called Race Street, so we're going to walk back this way a little bit. And there's some places, other places we're going to check out yet. Oh, there's some cool stuff up here. We have to, we're going to try and get to the, the mansion that's up here, the Asa Packer Mansion, and some other places yet. Alright, so let's check this out. And one riding a motorcycle. Well, that's interesting. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place over here. Skeletons everywhere. Climbing the house. One guy got impaled. Where? Up at the top. To the left. Oh, all the way over there, yeah. Then there. There's like a dog. Oh, I think that one's, that one actually is, when you turn it on, it's just a bark, I think. Oh, I don't like this one. This one's got like a face on it. Oh, he's playing the piano. An old piano out here, the skeleton playing the piano. Riding more horses. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yes, I was not expecting these all these guys back here, but that's pretty cool. We weren't even necessarily planning on coming back this street, but like I said, it's part of our little series on these towns. Some of it's planned and some of it's not. And this was unplanned, but well worth it. So we're just gonna walk a little ways up this street. It's like a back street away from the main street, but we saw some buildings up here too that were cool. So we're just gonna go, since it's such a, we're here, we're gonna do it. So it's really neat. It is getting darker, but we've got light yet. Yeah, just as soon as I got done talking, dude, John pointed these out. Old cars. What are these? Oh, that's a Plymouth. Plymouth. I don't know if these Oh yeah, it does say Chrysler on. 30s or 40s. Oh, wow, these are. They're nice. This is, this is when they made stuff like. These are like, they're like tanks. Even these are kind of a little bit more newer, but that's it. No more. These are all new cars here. Then. Oh, there is that church way up there. That, that's a in the one. distance. So this is the street we're walking along. Like I said, Race Street. Those uh, skeletons were down, down that way. But man, these just these old stone homes up here. There's a cool. There's a pub right there. I'd love to eat there. Everything's closed right now. Man, we're gonna we're gonna walk up to this church yet. We're gonna probably start heading back. So here's this really awesome looking building too, which I'm assuming is some kind of church. Yeah, I do see a cross way up top there, so I don't sure what kind it is yet, or what denomination. I'm sure we'll find out, but yeah. Wow, this place is huge. I wish I was a little bit further away so I could give you a better, you know, scale of it, but. Wow, I get all the stained glass in there. Wow, it just keeps on going. St. Mary's Episcopal Church. 
Wow, this thing, look at that. I mean, look at, wow, look at how that comes down. Because we're going down a hill now, so the church just kind of follows the hill. Wow, and just look at that. There's a whole other tower up there. This place is massive. Sheesh. We did just find a little bit more information about it. In memory of Asa Packer, erected by, in 1881 by his wife, Sarah. We'll talk a little bit more about Asa Packer later if we get up to his mansion. So, wow. I, well, I don't have a wife, but I would, wouldn't mind if she built me something like this someday. Well, it was built in his memory, so probably after he died. Wow, okay. I guess, like that view right there. Looking up the towards tower. the tower. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, here's a look across town around the other side. You can see all the color. But up there is the mansion. There's two mansions up there. One belongs was built by Asa Packer. Like I said, we're going to try and get up there. We'll talk just a little bit about him. But it's definitely worth coming back on this street. Yeah, so we're making our way back to the Jeep and John just pointed something out here. He knows I hate clowns, but man, look at that thing. I don't like dolls either. Sheesh. Was there something else up there? He found something else. Oh no, I see what he sees. Hey. Yeah, he sees that thing in the window there. Ugh. Nightmares. I hate clowns. One of my worst legitimate fears, actually. All right. Pleasant thoughts. Pleasant thoughts. All right, so we are finally back at the Jeep. It's a long walk back up here, but it, it's like John said, it's worth it. I'm gonna try and stop at a few more places. I know this video is probably getting a little bit longer, but there's some potential ruins up here I wanna check out. It's some place called the castle. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film it or not. And then we're gonna try and get up to where the Asa Packer mansion is as well. There's a view around here called the 100 mile view, but I think we'll probably have to scrap that today. I was hoping the clouds would lift so we could get up there. Well, we can get up there, but we're not gonna have much of a view with the clouds. Just shame because it's a really awesome view I was told. But anyway, let's hop back in the Jeep and see what else we can find. So it is five o'clock, run out of daylight, but like, so we're gonna hit up to the upper part of town here. We're gonna try and find Hill Street. There is some potential ruins of an old house up here <coughs> that they refer to as the castle. I want to see if I can at least get a look at it. I'm not sure if we'll be able to film any of it or not. It, I mean it's private property, but we'll see. Like I said, we'll try to get to the uh, mansions that are up here, too. Because this is the way we just walked up. It was quite a walk. Yeah, it was worth it, though. So we got to get down to where the opera house was. It's right up here. Yeah. Street for a reason. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, it has no parking signs. Oh, I think that's it up there. Oh yeah, you can see parts of it. But we can. Oh but, wow. Uh, they have no parking signs everywhere along here though. So Looks like they are restoring it though. Sorry, can't show you guys. They have no parking signs all along this street because of. There's people who made videos here in the past. I'm so. assuming this is one way too. I don't, I don't 
think it is though. Well, if you're interested, there's pictures online. If you type in Jim Thorpe Castle Ruins, you can see what I'm talking about. But there's just no place to pull off here to get a video of it. So we're gonna continue on to where the, the mansions are. Let's turn you off for now. So this is the upper part of town, up above where we just were. You can see it kind of doesn't have the same character as down below. The buildings look a lot of, maybe newer, I guess you could say. Oh, the 50s. Yeah. Stop sign. It's like, so from here, we're gonna try and get to those mansions. Asa Packer Mansion. What was the other one Harry Packer? Harry Packer. And we'll talk a little bit about them. They're you know instrumental in forming this town. So this road should take us down there. At least I think. Oh, there's a graveyard up there. Yeah. That's one thing we didn't visit today, was any kind of a... Oh, I think they're down here. Yeah. Look out, buddy. Oh, there's a huge hollow display over there. Oh, that's the Harry Packer one. Yeah, that's the Harry Packer mansion. So this is the Asa Packer that's one down here. Oh, there's parking right here. Cool. All right, we'll get back to you. So up there are the two mansions. The one that's kind of hidden behind the trees. That over there is the Asa Packer mansion. And they got quite a view from the top there. Right there's that uh, clock tower we saw earlier. We were walking the streets. Lots of cloud cover. I, I, there's a, like a, looks like a Civil War monument right there. I think we missed. I quick check that out. Yes, I think it is a war monument. They got stuff from the Civil War there. It says New Orleans right there, 1815. So that'd be the War of 1812. Man, the smells coming up from town are amazing. Smells great down there. All right. But let's, we're gonna at least walk up a little bit, get a view. The mansion is closed. It's, it's a museum as well. So there's a closer view of the mansion. I'm not gonna walk up, it's closed, and they got security going on here. That is definitely a, that is a big place. Beautiful up there, though. So who in the world is Asa Packer? Obviously, you can look him up online, but he was um, instrumental in the town of Jim Thorpe here. He was a big, uh, he was heavily involved in the construction of the railroads around here and in the railroad industry itself, back when that industry was really taking off. So he obviously had a lot of money, too. Like I said, you can look up more information about him if you want to. Asa Packer. And up here, I believe this would be his son, Harry Packer. I could be wrong about that, but we'll quick, quick take a look at his house or his mansion. Yeah, there's a look at the Harry Packer mansion. Another beautiful old building. Like I said, they got quite the view. There's Asa Packer mansion just looking out. 
down over the town. Beautiful place. All right, so I think that'll be it for this video. I think this is, I'm not sure, but I think this ended up being a pretty long video, but this, this place is packed with stuff to see and history and stuff. John's already down in the Jeep. John has fibromyalgia and it, he, uh, after walking for a while, it, it really bothers him. So he, he's waiting for me in the Jeep. Cause we did walk, walking in town is, it's quite a long walk, but it's definitely worth it. So yeah, Jim Thorpe, amazing place here in Pennsylvania, in Carbon County, Pennsylvania. Um, the weekends, it's packed. You'll probably not find a place to park, unless, especially if you come late. So just keep that in mind. Even today, this is Monday evening and there was not a whole lot of parking, but beautiful place to visit. So we're gonna head home, it's after five. My camera probably doesn't show up, it's, it's getting dark. So I'm gonna quit yapping one final time and head home. Getting a little hungry too. Anyway, thanks for coming along and I'll see you around. Or we, me and John will see you around. We'll, we'll be doing more videos like this. So anyway, see you around.